So today we're really going to be covering how Big ID scans, classifies, and protects unstructured data. So again, the focus is really going to be on on the unstructured aspect of, of what Big ID does and, and how we can help with uh, some of the challenges related uh, to um, unstructured data. So we know that um, you know most organizations have really a a lot of unstructured data. In fact, IDG uh, estimates that about 80% of the data that most organizations ha have is actually unstructured. Um, and some of the challenges that they'll face with that is uh, with that unstructured data is, is firstly, obviously the sheer volume of data that they have um, and being able to know um, what, what, what's in the data, um, where the data lives. Um, it's very difficult to identify and locate things like critical and sensitive data dark data and personal data, and all of these different silo locations uh, where it sits. So it can be, you know, in, in different uh, different systems, maybe it's on uh, Windows file shares or it's in um, an Isilon or a NetApp uh, uh, the filer, um, or maybe it's in S3 or it's in Google Drive or it's in SharePoint. So all these different locations where uh, organizations have data stored um, very difficult to, to go out and, and scan all those locations and do uh, things like data discovery. Um, but as we'll see, um, Big ID has some, some, uh, some ways that it can help. So, you know, obviously uh, companies collecting and storing sensitive information, they need to be able to build processes and procedures to tap into the value of the unstructured data that they have, um, but they also need to be able to obviously limit the risk that it represents. Um, but really to do this, they first need to understand the data they've collected. So really at the heart of this is, is, um, is data discovery. You know, again, you can't, you can't protect what you don't know about. You can't create policy or procedures for data that you don't know you have in the first place. Um, so with Big ID's next generation approach, uh, machine learning transforms data discovery and classification. So we layer on several types of discovery techniques to really classify more data with greater accuracy and present all that information uh, that you need back into a single pane of glass or into a single interface. Um, so I'll be showing you that today. Um, I'm also gonna show you several apps that we'll talk about uh, that enable action to be taken uh, based on the insight that we, that we provide. So uh, if you're familiar with Big ID, um, you know, you know, you know, really the, the heart, what's at the heart of our platform. For those that don't, um, just very briefly here. So at the, at the heart of what we do is really our uh, discovery in depth capabilities. Um, it's, it's the foundation of what we do. Um, I mentioned before, you know, you can't really do anything else until you've discovered data. Um, and a Big ID has some technologies um, and we call these the, the four C's that we use uh, to actually go out and uh, do deep discovery on data. Um, and, I'll, and I'll just mention these very briefly. So the first here is catalog. So what we do is we go out, we connect all of your different data sources, regardless of where they live. Um, again, unstructured is a big piece of what we do. So we connect to these data sources and we run scans against the sources and we build this this catalog of information about the different data, the da types of data you, that you have in your, in your environment. Um, and we bring that back, all that information, we bring it back and we put it into a centralized catalog um, for, for you to view. So you have a single interface to look at, you know, information about all of your data. Um, and then we also do data classification. So we go out and we use different classification elements to, um, to classify data. And we use um, some, some traditional, methods like uh, regular expressions to look for patterns. Um, but then we go well beyond that with other things, things like uh, natural language processing um, and deep learning. And uh, what we do is, you know, we use all of these different uh, techniques to classify information. And uh, because we're using multiple techniques together in unison, um, that allows us to discover a lot more data and to, to, uh, to discover it a lot more accurately. Um, third up here is cluster analysis. So uh, we actually uh, take a look at unstructured data and we begin to put some structure around it. Um, and what we do here is we're actually uh, grouping together files that are similar based on both keywords and attributes. 
So we create what we call clusters um, and we cluster this information together. And that's valuable because it can help you identify where you have duplicate data, um, where you have uh, similar, maybe redundant data. Um, it, it also helps you identify where you have pockets of really sensitive information in the environment um, and, and what types of sensitive information you have in your environment. And then last up here is correlation. So Big ID can, can provide a correlation um, between say uh, an entity like a person and the data itself. So what that gives you is, uh, you know, I can, I can plug a name into Big ID and, I, and we can tell you across all your different data sources uh, where we have data uh, about that, that person. Um, so we can do it for people, we can do it for other things too, like uh, account numbers. You could plug in account numbers and use that as a, what we call a correlation learning set. And then go out and discover everything we, we can across all your data sources about those account numbers. So you can think of correlation as sort of an anchor point for something that we want to tie data back to, you know, uh, or we, we, want to, we want to understand more about. And then finally here, um, so the four C's, I just covered those, um, again, at the foundation of the platform, but on top of that platform are, are applications and they fall into really three different areas. So there's privacy apps, there's protection apps, and there's perspective apps. Uh, we're going to cover a few of these today. Uh, we'll also have subsequent um, additional sessions where we'll, we'll dive a little bit more deeply into these. Um, but, uh, you know, that's it, I think, from a slide perspective that I have today. And just to set the stage for those, again, who, who maybe are not familiar with Big ID, uh, maybe this is your first time seeing it. Um, so this is the Big ID dashboard. Um, and what we have is we have 16 data sources that we've connected to. Um, and we've gone down and we've we found information uh, about the data. So we found objects, um, firstly. Um, and objects are really, if we're talking about unstructured data, um, they're, uh, you know, they're things like uh, Word files, PowerPoint presentation, Excel spreadsheets, can be text files, um, can be uh, really any type of, of unstructured data that you can think of. Uh, we, we support many, many different uh, file types. Um, we've also found attributes within those objects. So attributes are, uh, you can think of it as, you know, uh, either something we've, we've, uh, we've taught Big ID about. So we've, we've kind of taught, taught Big ID about, you know, say people. Uh, maybe we've, we've shown Big ID where, where we have uh, account numbers for people. Um, but we've also gone out and obviously we've classified information. So we've, we've found attributes related to social security numbers and credit card numbers hair color, eye color, uh, race, religion. So attributes are really findings about, uh, about the data. Um, policies, so uh, we've, we've triggered some policies here. I'm gonna talk about policies a, a bit during this session a little bit later, uh, but policies are really, um, it's, it's when anything that uh, we, we've configured is sort of a, a out of the norm within the environment and we can configure uh, policies to be triggered when something happens that we wanna know about that's related to data. And then finally for entities. Um, so entities in our environment are people. Um, so what we've done is we've done correlation, again, one of the four C's. Uh, we've correlated information about people back to those people. So for instance, in the demo environment here, I could plug in my name, Sean Owens, and Big ID will actually go out and show you where we have information stored across all of our different data sources uh, about Sean Owens. Um, but again, it doesn't have to be people, it can be anything else you wanna use as a as sort of an anchor point. Um, but anyway, so um, I did wanna cover a few things here that I'm, that I'm going to uh, go ahead and move forward with. Uh, so first I'm gonna do um, uh, data sources. So I mentioned um, you know, the, the ability for Big ID to connect into many different uh, data sources. You know, again, today's focus is unstructured. So, you know, things like Box, um, Azure Blob, um, we can tap into SMB file shares. Uh, we can tap into NFS file shares, uh, Amazon S3, we have you covered. Um, SharePoint Online, we also do on-premise, by the way. Um, anything that has to do with uh, Office 365, you can see Outlook Online, OneDrive for Business. Um, OneDrive Personal, 
Um, we can tap into all those unstructured uh, uh, data sources. Uh, there's Google Drive as well. Um, so we, got, we have that covered as well. Um, so when we want to configure a connection to a data source, it's actually very easy. Um, and I'll show you one that we've already, uh, we've already set up. Um, so I go into administration here, I'll go to data sources. You can see the different data sources that I have. You know, some are structured, um, but a lot of them are also unstructured. I have SMB, I have some SMB file shares here. I have Outlook Office 365. Uh, I have an S3 um, configuration or, or list of buckets that I'm actually gathering information on. Um, let's go into this document repository, this SMB file share. 